this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And today is the day for my end of the month haul. And I don't know how this happened, but I seem to have got a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I really don't know how it happened. <laughs> I seem to... It just seemed to grow <laughs> as the weeks went by, but uh, that means I've got great stuff to show you. And we're going to start right away. So let's take these out of the way, and I'm going to start off with the big super duper. Now these are a gift. It's kind of a little bit of a story, but um, in January, it is my husband and my 25th anniversary. And he had decided, or we had decided, <laughs> that he was going to get me the full set of polychromos for my, for my 25th anniversary gift. Well, since then, he's been keeping his eye on the prices of them. And he came to me and he said, is this a good price? And I was like, oh my goodness. It was like 40% off what we would normally pay here in Canada. And I said, you got to get them that you'll never see that price again. So he bought them. And then was the uh, waiting game of them coming because they took about oh, three weeks. And then was the, then I had to decide, was I going to wait until January to open them? Or was I just going to open them now and you know, have my anniversary present early. It doesn't matter. When when January comes around, I'm not going to feel bad because I already have my present. I'm, I can handle that. So he said, oh, go ahead and open them and have fun. So I have been very slowly opening them. First of all, I opened the box and just kept them in the box, the cardboard box that they came in. Then... I took them out of the box, kept them wrapped in cellophane. <laughs> and now I've taken the cellophane off. I haven't used them, but I've looked at them. So I'm not going to spend long on them. Um, many, many, many of you already have these. But for those of you who don't, this is what they come like. They are smooth, they are round, they are fat pencils, which I love much better than a skinny one. They feel good in the hand. And the great thing is, is that the uh, trays all have elastics on them. Even the next one does. So this is the full set of 120. I am not going to use them though until I have a pencil case, which uh, I'm placing an order tomorrow, which will start the pencil case's journey here. Once I have the pencil case, then I'll get them out and I'll swatch them and put them away in their new home. So I am so, so thankful to have these. And yeah, my husband knows how thankful I am. So we will very carefully move these. Now at the same time, I ordered some prismas that I was, uh, that were starting to get down to. They're going to be put in the uh, pencil holders soon. So I thought I'd, I'd get some so that uh, I, would, I wouldn't run out. I'll tell you what I got so you know what I use up mostly. I got a 90% uh, cool gray. 
I got a white just because I use that a lot for highlighting. Um, I got a black also because that gets used a lot. Got a blender and Imperial Violet. Well, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with my with my backup pencils and stuff. I don't really have any storage space for them. So, let's take a look at the books. Um, I'm not sure. I, I think we're pretty much all books here today. So, this is going to be a big lot of books. Get yourselves a cup of coffee, tea, or your drink of choice. I have a Dr. Pepper and uh, sit back, relax. Uh, I don't like to rush these things. So this is Coloria's latest release to North America, Mandala's Magical Nature. And this has some, I, I'm going to have to do it sideways otherwise I can't put it on here. So this is a really well-made book with some awesome, awesome mandalas in it. All of them are nature-related, so we've got animals and leaves and flowers and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, I've done some already. You will have already seen my video uh, telling you all about this book. Uh... Then today, I just received Belba Family's newest uh, book in there. Just a minute, my camera's a little bit crooked. If we can get that right. Let me see everything there. That looks straighter. What the heck just happened? I don't want to turn that off, whatever it was. Oh. Looks like I may have done it. Yes. Okay, so this is Stone Mosaics. I haven't done it yet. Uh, I haven't done the video for it yet, but you may have seen it before this video comes up. I'm not sure. But it, if it hasn't, if it's not up, it will be soon. Belba Family's latest uh, Clever Book Series in the Advanced Edition, Secret Patterns. Again, same story. I haven't done anything in it yet. It just came yesterday. So we'll be working on that and putting up a putting up a uh, flip through and review and everything all on that, which may or may not already be up at this time. Then I placed a small uh, book outlet order. I tamed the beast, and I only got uh, the books that I wanted. I did not keep adding books to my cart so I could get free shipping. It was cheaper with the four books that I wanted and the $5 shipping. So I stayed within that. So this one I'm really excited about. It's called Enchanted Worlds, and it's by Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. And it's part of the Adult Coloring Books for the Soul series. And I have two other books from that series uh, that are by Lydia Hess, which I just absolutely love. I did not know that this was a series that encompassed other artists, so I'm going to have to keep my eye out for more of these. These are gorgeous. Just stunning. Look at that. Wizards. Sorceress, animals, dragons, just normal nature, it's an angel and a bird nest, looks like an Egyptian woman, princess, just all sorts of things that fit enchanted worlds. Am I out all the way here? Yeah, I am. Hmm. Why are we not... Sorry for moving the camera here, but it got knocked, and now when that happens, I can never get everything back to the right. Okay, oh, that is not right. 
I'm gonna have to cut this bit out while I fiddle with the camera. Is that good? No, that's a little bit ziggly too. It's not crooked one way, it's crooked the other way. Okay. One line. And it seems to be okay. It's just not... Well, it is big enough. It's not being cut off. Okay. You can uh, put it back on. Okay. And then next we have... Okay, I'm going to show this one first. Um, a while ago, I found this book on Amazon, and it looked really interesting. So I, got a, I went to YouTube and got a flip of it, and I just absolutely fell in love. This book is sort of, it, it reminds me so much of Joanna Basford. But it's different. And yet, it's the same. But different. Now, it does have words in it, and I'm not a fan of words on my coloring pages. So, two things can happen. I mean, I could use alcohol marker and just lose that page. Or I could just color it anyways. But the good thing is, is that all the words are literary quotes. Which suits my style, because I'm a book person. So isn't this just adorable? Like, there's no Zen Doodle in it, or Zen Tangle. It's just beautiful drawing, sometimes with little patterns. But it's, it's definitely not Zen Doodly. Oh. So yes, so um, yeah, that was on my wish list, and then I saw it turn up at a book outlet, so you can imagine. And I also found that they had one of her other books, which was Words of Love to Color. And this is exactly the same. It's got more quotes in it because its focus is kind of the words, but again, they're all literary quotes. And the illustrations are just to die for. I think they're even cuter than they were in the first book because there's more animals in this one. And um, pattern pages, which I know are called wallpaper pages, but to me they're patterns, repeating patterns. And I love coloring large repeating patterns. So, yeah. And they're simpler in this book than in the first one. Good night, good night, parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. William Shakespeare. So, really excited to have these two books. And then the last one from Book Outlet, which makes a total of four, is Darius Song's book that I didn't have. I have the first two books in her series. I did not have the night voyage, so I picked this up, and I'm really glad to finally have the series. And now I need to make myself color in these because I haven't colored in any of them. This one I think is a little bit more intimidating than the first two, I think. There's all these like slides and roller coaster uh, thingies going all over the place. But some of the pages are um, immediately, that, that's what I mean. <laughs> but some of them are immediately appealing to me, and they're not all intricate. So, you know, neither of those are. So, you can start small or then start on pages like this, which interests me with buildings. Or there's another one here that I really wanted to do when I saw it. Yeah, this one right here. Well, both of these. I don't think it's a two-page spread. Oh, yeah, it is. So, yeah, that definitely interests me. So, yeah, now I have all three books in the series. 
So I'll grab the next set of books. Let's just put these on the table behind me. The next set of books I gotta kinda keep in a little bit of order, but so I started picking up all the new black background books by by a Code Questopia. Some of them I already have, but it is night and day, <laughs> which I I didn't intend the pun uh, coloring in these that. But I am coloring in these steadily and quickly and really enjoying it. So I got Halloween. Now this was originally published as, ha as a Halloween Horror. And I do have that edition as well. But it's been rebranded. The same pictures inside. Just different title and cover. So these are... Let's get to it. Okay, here we go. So these are your typical pictures and isn't the black just great it looks just like regular pictures yes so I'm loving those then I picked up April Amber's fourth Chibi Girl book this one is called Halloween and honestly to tell you the truth it really should be called witches because Almost every page has a witch on it. Yeah, there's some things that are not witches, like this girl here, but well, of course everything I show you is not. Okay, so, you know, witch, 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 witch. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's a lot of witches, even though I can't seem to uh, find them. So this book has uh, double pages. Then uh, Deborah Muller came out with some great ones for the uh, Halloween season. So this isn't a Halloween book, it, but it is a, a creepy one. Alice in Zombieland by Deborah Muller. And this one is awesome. <laughs> that looks like Little Miss Muffet. Oh, poor White Rabbit. Mad Hatter. Yeah, these are great. If you like um, the other Alice book, I can never, I always want to call it the Mad Mad Hatter book, but that's not what it's called. But anyways, if you have the other Alice book, you'll like this one. And I also discovered Coloring Book Cafe just uh, just towards the end of last month. So this month I've got uh, some books that I've picked up. I really, really like them. So this is their Happy Halloween book, and it's a simple one. It doesn't have very complicated pages and yet there a lot of them are full scenes or take up the whole page. I have to say I like the presentation better than the Jade Summer Halloween book. But yeah, so that's a nice book. And way back at the beginning of the month I got uh, Prachi Dewan Satch Deva's uh, mosaic book, Spooky Halloween. She does the hexagons instead of let's move my pages instead of the uh, squares. And these are a ton of fun to color. I love them. I hope she comes out with more books like this. She's got two so far: Little Bugs and this one. And I like them both. This one's got more detailed scenes than the bug one, but the bug one's fun too. And then I was delivered my Mystery Colors magazine, which I am not happy with at all, 
because it contains books from the first couple of issues. Uh, pets and farm animals is from what people are saying, but I'll tell you right now that it does contain, well, let's take a look at the back. It does contain tons of books from pets because I've finished that. This one, this one, that 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 one. That's my Canadian bacon page. That one. And the others are from one of their other books. Somebody told me that this contains exactly what's in the book version of Mystery Colors, the one with the fish on the front, that this has the same pictures as that one. So I don't know, I've never seen that book, but that's what I was told. So if you collect this magazine, you can skip this one altogether because it's repeated material. And I'm not too happy with that, having a subscription and receiving repeated material in an issue that they don't even like let you know. It's like they're trying to sneak it past you. Um, there's been some issues with this company uh, between between uh, delivery and uh, um, problems with printers and now this. Th this is the worst though. I mean passing off a new book as new when it's all previously published material. Of course, if you're just getting into this book, then this will give you some early stuff. But yeah, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with that. Sorry for the squeaking of my chair, but that's just how it is. Okay, so the next set. So these three I did a video on. And these are the color by number books for bands and criminal minds and I just love this it's a it's a great book the pictures turn out really well I'm not going to show you though uh, you can watch my video on this set to see what the pictures turn out like or you can watch my finished pages and same with here the Beatles now these ones are all like pop art. They use uh, bright and uh, vibrant colors in them. And they're just kind of like stylized faces. And again, I was really pleased with how my first attempt in that went. Same with Queen. They use a pop art uh, style as well. Different colors than the first one. More gives you more of a 70s vibe and the uh, faces are uh, well they're um they're different too so yeah really pleased with how my picture turned out in that one then we have Belba family's uh latest book in the clever book series for the beginner level human faces. So this is just like what we expect it to be like. And uh, these are the type of pictures that you're going to do. I've done a few and I'm pleased with that. Nikki Sharma's Halloween color by number book. I didn't get to start this but I did complete her previous Halloween book. I work on Halloween books all year long, so it doesn't matter. And then I got the tiny little horror coloring book with 3D, 3D, 30 creepy pictures to color. Um, I'm wanting to get some of these pocket-sized books to, um, I just do. There's a normal version size of it, and there is a lady, I forget, forget who it is, who has the normal sized version and she's been she's been uh, posting her completed pages out of this book and they are just adorable. So this is a wonderful little book. These are all stock photos. I'm going yeah, I'm 
99% sure. And uh, it was Glenn Dent who curated them and did a good job because this is a really nice little book that uh, goes together. A little sample of the pictures and this is what you get inside. Then I received the Zodiac Special of Coloring Heaven. I have not worked in this. It didn't get the time and really wasn't feeling the vibe, but I love it. So I will definitely be working in this. It's got uh, Tanya Bond's inklings, her, her, um, her Zodiac series. It has, uh, who else is in here? Kelly O'Gorman. It's got her creatures. And it has Mayumi Ogihara. Never heard of her. What are these little ones at the front? Oh no, I guess it was the back. Who did those ones? And these are by Mitzi Sato Wiuf. <laughs> Never heard of her either. She's got three little tiny ones on the page. So that's a good book going to put these on my table. Okay, so the next set. Of course, I had to get the Halloween patterns. I am definitely a pattern person, so I had to get this. This is Jade Summers. They do this now so that you know what book it's out of and what image so that you have some sort of order to the book. So I like that. And Prachi Such Deva came out with a coloring book that wasn't color by number, and I really thought the pictures were cute, so I picked this up. She has since uh, turned it into a color by number, but I haven't got that. I think it'll be fun to color these on my own. And I just had to get this one because uh, the pictures I've seen are just absolutely adorable. And that's Nice Little Town Halloween. Uh, everybody's seen this. <laughs> it's been popping up on the channels all month. And then uh, Prachi, Dewan Such Diva, did a, another color by number book. Such Davis came out with several Halloween books to keep you busy. Then, uh, the next one, I think I'm going to set it aside because it's part of a gift I got from my sister. So I'll wait until I find the other two items. So I added another Christopher Mark Stokes book to the collection. This is Halloween Horrors. It's his usual style. Much simpler pages to do. Deborah Muller's latest. Don't I think this might actually be her newest book that uh, came out creepy but cute. Now, of course, you know what to expect from this. This is her normal style of girls standing there being creepy and cute. <laughs> A few uh, other mythological creatures. And then I got my very first Heather Valentin book, and I decided to go with a Halloween one. So this is called Tom's Tombstone Darlings, with a Z at the end. And I'm not 100% sure on this yet. I like them. 
but it's very fine art, uh, fine lines. I, what, when I bought it, I was thinking it was, I was thinking it was um, a marker uh, art that I'd be coloring, but this is definitely not most suited for markers. I'd, I'd, I'd more say pencils in here. So yeah, I'm going to have to take a look at that and see what I really think of it. I like the illustrations. It's just, uh, how am I going to do them? Now, I haven't been ke keeping up with sunlight drawing very much, so I picked up Little Witches, which, um, yeah, everybody's seen this one. And then I got some fall books, which will I will be working in this month. I've got It's Fall Y'all by Tabitha L. Barnett, which has pictures on white pages and then some of them duplicated on black backgrounds. So there's mandalas and... Uh, that's a 3D one and broken circles and circles and just normal pictures. So there's easy to a little bit harder than just easy, but nothing complicated in those. And then, of course, there is George Tufex's latest uh, color by number book. And I hope I can get to this this month, even though it is starting to feel like winter. It is officially autumn until December 20th or 21st so I can color autumn this mo entire month then I got 50 autumn miniatures which again I'll be working in in November and this has been all around color tube as well. Uh, Nikki Sharma's uh, latest color by number book is Autumn Scenes. So I picked this one up to have a more easier autumn book compared to the George Tufexis one. Olga Goloveshkina came out with a new book just recently too. It's called The Frog Princess, a horror coloring book. Now it's based on a um, old world fairy tale. Now I'm not sure what her what her heritage is. Does it say on the back? Oh yes. Okay. I thought she was Russian, but I wasn't sure. So it's based on an old Russian uh, folk tale or fairy tale. And if you look through it slowly, you can see that it does have a story to it. But once you get to a certain part in the book, there are skulls everywhere. There's skulls on this lady. Skulls down here. Skulls. And skulls up here. So that's basically the only horror thing about this, is that there are skulls and arrows and everything. But you can definitely color those creepy. Another black background from Color Questopia is their fashion book. And I'm not usually the type of person who's into fashion, but uh, these are going to be fun to color. They've also come out with the new color palette, which is, uh, I don't know, having those 50 colors every time. And they don't use them all in a picture, so... It would be good if they only listed the colors that you're going to use in each picture like sunlight does, but skin with 50 colors, it's pretty wieldy to do in the publishing end. So yeah, this is going to be a ton of fun to color. Okay, I think those are safe there. And just let me pick up this box and let me get books out of there. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, so I picked up the latest issue of Relax and Color. Such and Such Deva had a new mosaic book come out. This time he has gone over to the dark side and is doing a 3 by 3 millimeter square. The good thing about his squares, though, is that he has dark lines, and I, I think that is going to make a big difference in doing these. Okay, so next up is that uh, most of you know that my sister and I take uh, every other month and we send each other a uh, little parcel of stuff from their wish list. So this month I received a package from my sister and she sent me two books and a supply. So I'll show you what she got. I got the Unbelievable Cryptozoology Coloring Book by George Tufexis, which has all our uh, scary monsters around the world. It's got ones I haven't heard of at the back here, so Pinatuba monsters, uh, Dingo Neck, Mothman, <laughs> Van Lake Monster, The Jersey Devil, Fayanaga, and then up at the beginning it's got the more uh, well-known ones. It's got the Yeti. We've got Sasquatch somewhere. Here we are. Here's Sasquatch. Uh, I think he's known as Bigfoot in the States. And the Chupacabra, I think is how you say it. And then she got me this neat book. Now I have another book by this lady, Emma Raymond, that's uh, simple patterns and it's uh, basically very simple mandalas. So she had a couple of other pattern books that I uh, that looked interesting to me just by what was on the back covers of them. And uh, my sister got me this one, Relaxing Patterns. Her name is Emma Raymond. And it's really nice. I really like it. It's got some interesting and uh, wide variety of different kinds. They're not hard. These are simple ones, and I do like my intricate patterns, but sometimes you just want something that you don't have to concentrate on. And, yeah, I like it a lot. And then she got me, the big thing <laughs> that she got me was a set of gouache. Now, I have a handful of uh, gouache tubes. But uh, I wanted to get a set that was, you know, one company and, you know, their set. So this is King Art 12 milliliter gouache paint set. There's 24 tubes and it's listed as Pro. 24 vivid colors, rich pigments, thick, creamy finish, non toxic, fast drying, artist quality. Woohoo! And that's what they look like. There's a, let's put that in the other book. There's a, certainly a good amount of colors and I really don't know what I'm doing with gouache. So I'm looking forward to learning about that through trial and error. <laughs> then I got the Dragon Fantasy with a black background. Yes, I do have this in the original version, but come on. I could not. I mean, I have to. I'm getting... I have vowed that I will get every black edition that they produce. They said they're not going to have black editions of every single one they do. But at this point in time, they seem to be making black editions of every new book. I am sure they were popular. I know they're very popular on my color by number group. So yes, that one. And then uh, 
sunlight sun sun life drawing they uh, came out with black editions of their mosaic books so I picked up the travel one because this is the one that I've been working in with the white and I plan to pick up the uh, Christmas one then this is a new color questopia book that uh, came out with a black background camping and this look this is cute it's got cute little children and animals this is an old book that they republished with a black background and I did not have this one and I think this is great that's their sample pages but yes yeah, space definitely looks good with the black lines and I did get the um, the other horror one horror, horror creatures and nightmares coloring book with a uh, black edition it's not here though it's yeah it's probably in my pile of finished pages because I just started I started at the back and I just kept going so I'm about half done it and I plan to complete it this month and then I got myself a uh, what do you want to call this a double-sided book this is not an Amazon book it's a walk in Eden and it's by Anders Nielsen and I absolutely love this book it is extremely bizarre but as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have it because I immediately immediately the story came to me of what this is most people just talk about how odd and strange it is and each page this ends off here with this I don't know we've got this thing and then if we go over to the other page it's there oh, this opens up there's some of these big there's some of these big spreads so you end up having a four page spread but let me get to a normal page so you know you walk off the walk off the side here and you come back on and that's kind of like the way it goes and then you've got pictures like this in the middle and then you get back to the story yeah and it's very very interesting here we go we're back to the story so yeah a more detailed look at that and I'll explain the story to you in how I envision it in my flip through of that which I hope to get up soon so if there are any books that you saw and you would like to have a flip through of please let me know because I do intend flipping all of the books but if you let me know that you want to see one I'll move it to the top of the pile and get get it out for you otherwise you're, you're going to be waiting until wherever it is in the pile and it gets done so, um, and in the, the I, I'm actually working right now, this, today is uh, Friday, October 30th, right now I'm working on posting uh, some flip throughs that I've had for ages and I've got a really big backlog on them. So for the next few weeks, probably up into the middle of November, I will be posting two flip throughs a day until I catch up. And I apologize if that uh, makes your feed too busy or something, but um, don't don't turn me off thinking that's what I plan on doing for the future. I don't. I just need to get caught up over these next two weeks, and then I'll be back giving you a flip through on Wednesdays and Fridays, which is my normal my normal uh, flip through schedule. So. Um, 
I'm going to leave you now, and if there's any questions or any flip-throughs you want, just leave the information down below, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!